what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and it's finally here man we had to wait a couple of weeks because of the earthquake that happened in japan um you know there were the, the episode was out but it was not officially out and i didn't want to you know you know um, i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of people that reacted to it you know the the version that was out um, with with the terrible subs <laughs> and everything uh, but I decided to wait and we're doing a double upload today so two new episodes are out episode 14 and 15 of season 4 and I'm curious to see what is going to happen next now because there's so many things that have been revealed but not yet still revealed but um, I wonder how this talk is going to go with Aaron, Mikasa, Armin, and Gabby in the room. You know, he came in, he's like, yo, I need to talk. But hey, if y'all want the smoke, I could give y'all the smoke. I don't know if I'm a Jaegerist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think I'm a Jaegerist because at this point in the story, it's really not about you can choose sides because everybody has that choice to make you know what i'm saying that you could choose sides you could say you're a yigaris you rock with aaron all the way there are things that he's doing that i agree with there's things that he's not doing you know there are things that he's doing that i agree with things that he does that i don't agree with um but the the, the entire plan is not outright there yet for uh, at least for us you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what the plan is. We know they want to accomplish the rumbling or to test it out. But in terms of how things are going to progress, we have no idea what the ultimate plan or what Aaron and Zeke talked about or uh, Yelena. We, we don't know what they talked about in completion yet. So I'm wondering if Aaron is now going to reveal what this plan is so let's jump in all right let's talk about it okay let's talk about it ah my god my god my god what a what a story eh? what a story I mean, Zeke's, this euthanasia plan to, you know, basically reform Eldians so they can't reproduce, basically. So any offspring that comes after this don't have no genitals, basically, is what they're going to do, right? So they can't reproduce, so they'll die out within a, a hundred years, right? Which is um and it basically connects to everybody so i'm wondering if what about the eldians that are already born like if they remake their bodies right does everybody that's already born already aliens do they just lose their genitals in this whole situation uh um and it goes back to what i was saying right it goes back to what I was saying about what Zeke's intentions were, based on what I was observing from what's going on, of what his intentions were. He basically ratted out his dad to save himself. Let's just keep it a buck. He ratted out his dad to save himself and to continue to pursue his plan of saving Eldian, the Eldian Empire, or saving them, or to let them not suffer anymore throughout history and all this other stuff and the plan is great but i don't agree with it because first of all you're taking away people's choices what about the people who don't agree with this plan aaron what about you know what i'm saying what about the people that don't agree with this euthanasia plan right what about those people what about the people who don't want to lose their genitals? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
you take away people's choice because you have the power to take away that that choice you can't i don't know i'm a big advocate for people having free will so for them to just have this plan because they have the power to do it without anybody's permission both of them because you know what i'm saying um him come in contact with you know zeke will can trigger the rumbling or whatever or they can use the founding titan powers to basically remake eldians and to change that situation um as i said i'm not in agreement with the plan because in in, in no I, I i get why they want to do it i i really do i really do get why they want to do it i get why they why they see why they want to end this this circle this continuing circle of violence that has been caused by aliens or whatever and also to free the people that are under uh, the aliens that are under oppression under marley and you know what i mean like i i really do get it but at the same time they still gotta endure for another hundred years of all of this you know and that's why zeke is saying I don't feel like I killed anybody. I freed them. So all of the 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 Irwins and all of those soldiers that charged towards him. He feels like he's saving these people from from living through living in this horrible world. You know what I'm saying? Killing people to save him is a delusional thing to think. And I know a lot of people is, I, I know there are going to be people out there like, ah, oh, decent plan. Suppose that, suppose somebody, suppose there is, suppose there is, suppose God or whatever you believe in, suppose God just get up and decide to take away your genitals one day and just be like, you know what? I'm just going to let the human race just die out. And he just remakes everybody, take away your genitals right of everybody no matter what gender you want to claim to be right and decide to take away your genital so nobody can 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 um nobody can reproduce which is a crisis that we are facing today in society where you don't have men and women coming together anymore to make to make babies <laughs> you know what i'm saying um everything is at an all-time low birth birth um the birth rate is at an all-time low all time go check the stats it's at an all-time low and imagine that that's the situation i know there's a bunch of people out here that don't want to have kids and i get it but there's also the majority of people that do want to have kids so suppose that's the way how i'm looking at it from this perspective as it yes i understand that there's a sect of people that has been causing generational violence if you want to call it that right just continuing 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 and you know we we we, we talk about it sometimes when it comes on to time travel you know if you go back in time and kill hitler in the crib you know what i'm saying then he wouldn't live to oppress the jewish people right and the holocaust would not have happened but guess what it happened it's history right so we don't have the power to go back in time but if you did i'm pretty sure a lot of people would want to kill somebody like hitler or a lot of people who has been mass murderers serial killers want to go back and kill him in the crib but would it be right would it be right you know what i'm saying would it be right that's the moral of the story is like would it be right for you to just decide this you know and as i said i understand both perspective i understand where zeke is coming from and why he wants to do this um you know him saying that the father you know brainwashed you know aaron too and all this other stuff i think it is probably a little bit too too out there with no with no it, it's like i like zeke as a character now 
because he seems like a very deep character now that we know you know his backstory uh, and laying some context down as to what really happened that led up to him giving up his parents right he didn't care but he didn't know what happened he didn't know he thought that grisha was wandering out there as a titan you know he didn't know that the owl saved him and gave him the titan power he didn't know about that so when he heard from um from what reiner and Bertolt was telling him about that aaron is alive somebody named aaron jaeger and you know it's like you know what his father looked like and he's like oh he's a doctor blah blah, blah. and he picked up on it is like father is alive and he has brainwashed another one <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's the cycle he's trying to stop because he because he's like i can't keep doing this or aliens sh shouldn't have the privilege to be alive to live to have a good life because of you, you, you know what i'm saying it's never going to happen like that but the problem that i have with this is like it's not taking into account that you assholes right you bums decided to go over and disrupt the peace that they were having these people couldn't even hunt and get food in peace because y'all kept sending titans over there that that got no they don't choose size they just eat anybody <laughs> that they come across you guys brought this on yourselves parody why didn't you just leave and go to paradise then and the thing about it is this right they had the power of the titans i've been saying this the whole time i'm like you guys have the power of the titan but in but instead you go and you oppress more people oppress your own people for that matter right fighting a, in my opinion a war that wasn't even necessary you guys could have just taken the titan powers and say yo let's just get our people and get over to paradise and teach them that these are our people right because we we don't have to stay here and be oppressed by these marlians they hate us let's get out of here man let's get out of here you know what i'm saying and and send them a warning but instead no we're the, the brainwashing is so good by these marlians that they have these warrior candidates and warriors that have the titan powers thinking that they're the absolute worst what does what ymir did or all this stuff that they teach them about the, what the hell does that have to do with you who were just born yesterday what does that have to do with you i'm here i'm born into this it's the same thing when you look at it from a from a black and white perspective and you have people out there who are white and they're and and they're racist it's like why do you hate me bro i was just born just the other day you know what i'm saying like i wasn't born in that time you know what i'm saying like what does that have to do and why do you hate you understand what i'm trying to say it's like it's like this i don't have the power of a titan i'm not a beast titan i'm not a car titan i'm not none of these people right i'm just an alien trying to live right but just because you were oppressed in the past doesn't mean that you have to turn around and oppress others life doesn't work like that life shouldn't work like that you get what i'm saying but unfortunately you know past events is is, is now what we come across today sometimes with with certain things is like why are you prejudiced towards me and how i really don't have anything to do with that you know what i'm saying it's it, it's like whatever it is even though it's not exactly the same situation i'm just giving an example because it's not like black people conquered white people and then you know they developed a weapon and then they came back and oppressed us it wasn't like that it was more of like from the beginning they felt like people of this shade you know what i'm saying are just inferior now today should i hold every white person i come across responsible for that because we're living in an age where i can voice th that i have a, that i have a voice and i can say these things to them without punishment 
You get what I'm saying? Without consequences? Should I hold them accountable? I don't believe in that because they have nothing to do with that. So, and I don't think, you know, some of the times we, 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 we think of these things in, in, in certain terms sometimes that just, it just miss me. You know what I'm saying? And it might go over my head sometimes. But when I think about these things on a logical perspective, it really just doesn't add up on why some people are just so angry about this stuff. Like, I'm just like, bro, if somebody does not portray to me that they're a bigot, that they're prejudiced towards me or whatever the situation is, me and them can be friends. But you do have black people out there that are just like, ah, oh my God, white people. You know what I'm saying? They just immediately judge them to be racist on the spot just because of the color of their skin. And it's the same thing that they used they did to us that you are now doing to them. And you think that just because it happened to you, you feel like it's right. And it doesn't work like that. Life shouldn't be like that. I go into every situation with anybody, no matter what your culture is, I come to learn about you. The individual, that's who I'm here to learn about. Not about, you get what I'm saying? If you share a sentiment towards a um, particular country or, you know, culture or whatever the situation is, then fine, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it, I totally understand why these things have why it has to happen because we're not all going to come from the same place in the world we're all going to have certain things about us that even though we might share the same skin color that we don't experience it the same that's just how life is that's the you know i think if everybody came from the same place experiencing the same things and doing the same things life would be even more boring than it is now you know what i'm saying because when it comes on to to that stuff it just do, it just doesn't add up and that's just to me and it's it's not because it's because i think it's it's it is because i think a certain way i don't want to say most people think like me because i don't i don't think so i you know what i'm saying especially when it comes on to black people from what i've experienced is like the excuses the excuses the excuses and just i'm not saying that there aren't white people out here that are racist but i don't think it's the majority and that's the thing about it too like most people really do think that it's the majority of these people that are racist which is absolutely ridiculous like think about it for a second man you know what i mean just think about it for a second on your own but you know coming back to attack on titan is, is kind of like you know they have this power and i get what they're trying to do no matter what the consequences and how they go about it you get what i'm saying it's how they go about it which is really not standing well with me this euthanasia plan is absolutely taking away is taking away every eldian's choice of how they want to live out the rest of their life regardless of the if they're oppressed or they're fighting back like the people of paradise like it's it's it, it, for me it just feels like they're taking away that choice whether it's Aaron whether it's Zeke you know what I'm saying whether it's Yelena wh whatever whatever this plan this plan of euthanasia is not a plan I'm going I'm going to be down with I get why they want to do it but I'm not in agreement with it that is all I have to say but in any case um Anything that anybody plans that takes away anybody's free will, I'm never going to be down with that. But I do get your perspective on why you want to do that thing. So I just wanted to get that get that out there. I know, you know, not everybody's going to agree with me. Not everybody's going to see my stance. But I hope you respect my stance as well. Um, so leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this euthanasia plan. If it's something that you think is necessary for all this suffering to stop of the aliens or they could go another route because i mean if you have the the power to rewrite the dna of people like what would you do 
what would you do would you would you go you know what i'm saying like they have the power to do that and that's what they choose to do to, to just let everyone uncle auntie grandma grandpa every relative every second third fourth fifth sixth cousin just just die out and the aliens just cease to exist anymore because you know what i'm saying because of this but who's to say somebody is not going to get some last spinal fluid thing injected in somebody and you know what i'm saying and, and something happened again like who i don't know i don't know only aliens can turn the time sky i guess they would they would die out anyways so yeah man that is all i have to say leave a like on the video um i did a thorough review for this one um we learned a lot about zeke um flock is still on his bull that's <laughs> always yeah you, know, you know what i'm saying he a jaegerist for life right taking you know, off they beat up keith man keith thought he was a g bro <laughs> like you saw like 20 dudes out here you talking about you talk <laughs> you talking about they could jump me all they want ain't none of them could be they black screen the hell out of keith bro it ain't <laughs> not cool <laughs> but anyways i'll catch you guys later man peace